Roddy Gale, Ohio State Buckeyes legend, has been in the portal for like a week. We're late to getting this one because uh, we were at the Final Four. Carter, your Buckeyes are falling apart, my friend. Uh, you bring one Michi Johnson into the program, and Bruce Thornton announces he's staying, and we speculated Roddy Gale would stay. Not so much. Roddy Gale very quickly was like, no thanks. He saw what you saw in the Michi-Bruce pairing and said, get me the hell out of here. Uh, this is per John Rostein. The schools Roddy Gale is receiving interest from includes Georgia, Gonzaga, Michigan, Tennessee, Oregon, Creighton, Clemson, Duke, Alabama, and Syracuse. He is working on setting a visit with Georgia and Michigan. Those are the two schools that he is working on visits for. The others are just expressing interest. It's quite a list. Blue Bloods, some smaller high majors. Uh, I think that's a fair list for Roddy Gale's talent. I think there's still a level we haven't seen from Roddy Gale's game through two seasons that could be unlocked in the final two remake of Roddy Gale. First off, I think Roddy Gale's mental makeup is fantastic because he did get out the door. He, he, he saw what it looked like. Um, and he's like, yeah, this isn't going to be the best spot for me to develop as a player. And I a hundred percent agree with him. And you and I have been Roddy Gale fans. Um, obviously I had to become a fan because I saw what this kid as a freshman did when he was given the opportunity, he came in and he, he did some great things towards the end of last season. And this year, I mean, he's a player, his, his three point percentage really, really dipped from his freshman season. Uh, while averaging almost three attempts a game, he only shot 28% from three, but everywhere else he improved free throw percentage improved field goal percentage improved only slightly, but he, his attempts went up by six and it damn near remained the same at 45% from the field. And, you know, he was also able to reel in around five rebounds and three assists a game, averaging close to 13, 14 points. Like, I really like Roddy Gale as a player. I think that his next step, he's going to continue to get better. Um, I like his frame. I like his size for college as well, playing like that 6'4", two-guard role. Um, I, and I also think that defensively, he can be a guy who uh, disrupts the game as well. Um, so – you know, I'm a I'm a big Roddy Gale fan. A lot of those schools that you brought up make sense to me, uh, as him like going and being a real good player there. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm I'm a big Roddy Gale fan. I am too. How do we square that with the fact that he really hit a wall in the second half of the season? Like he was he was a big part of Ohio State's problems. Holtman. It's all Holtman's fault. That's we love we Holtman. It's Holtman's fault. Okay. Why? I, okay, he shot forty three percent on forty nine attempts from three his freshman year. Shot twenty eight percent on one hundred and three attempts his sophomore year. Which one do you think is truer to what he actually is as a shooter? I think he's closer to like a thirty five percent three point shooter. So dead in the middle between the two. <laughs> I want to. I want to see. What Roddy Gill looks okay. A lot of this is me projecting what Roddy Gill looks like outside of Columbus and without Bruce Thornton. Because a thought came to my head a lot of the times, and whether it was for good or for, or whether it's right or wrong, that I wanted to see what a team looked like that featured Roddy Gale more than featuring Bruce Thornton. Now it might have been the same, but I thought that he could have been featured even more, in my opinion, uh, than what he was. So uh yeah, I know I know it's cheating to just pick in the middle, but I truly think that's what he ends up being. I, I think he ends up being like a 35 to 30, maybe 30, honestly, 37% three-point shooter. Mm, okay. I buy that. Uh, so should he be going somewhere where he's featured then? Is that what you think he should do? I think he needs to – he needs to be featured somewhat. Like, I I guess I'm trying to square this off. I'm thinking like Roddy Gale in a system that's three guards that actually has a guard that maybe creates for others and not two without a pass button. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pick me. Pick me. Me. A three guard system? Ooh. I, I like Roddy Gale at Fit at Michigan a lot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Me. Uh, yeah, I think this is like a perfect Dusty May, what he wants to do guy. Um, I, I think you picture a starting lineup that could feature John L. Davis, Roddy Gale, and a true point guard. Hey, Greg, what's what's the one player from FAU that you guys aren't getting? 
Uh, well, there's a couple we're not getting, but Elijah oh. Martin. Welcome to better version of Elijah Martin. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I have always compared Roddy Gale to Bruce Brown. Part of that is because I think they look alike. Part of that is because <laughs> I they're they're built the same. They're like the same size. They're athletic off guards that you can kind of squint and see like what if he was our point guard. Um, I I still think that's here. I will say this: if Roddy Gale's your best player, I think you stink. I think you're bad. So, and I think this list indicates that. Like, I, I don't think any of these schools. Maybe not any. Maybe Georgia would want Roddy Gale to come in and be their best player. But, like, he's not going to Alabama, Duke, Creighton, Tennessee, or Gonzaga and being the best player. So, to me, I think, like, he is going to settle into, like, he's a starter. He's, like, a second or third option on a good team. And hopefully you have better guys around him than Felix Akpara and maybe a cleaner fit than Bruce Thornton. If there's a guy that Michigan is after right now, that is not the Florida Atlanta guys. So outside of John Ellen Vlad that I want, it's Roddy Gale. He's he is the name I am most interested that I have heard Michigan rumored with. I like Roddy more with what Michigan's going to be building around than I like Danny Wolf. Uh, and I like Danny Wolf as a player. I'm still worried about that flip with Vlad, fit with Vlad Golden. Roddy Gale is the perfect Dusty May system guy to me. You need guards with size who can shoot a little bit, who can defend, who can do a little bit of everything. He can be on ball. He can be off ball. I trust it. He can pass. He can guard. It's perfect to me. Like it, it, To me, if you had him, John L. Davis, and a true point guard, you feel fantastic about Dusty May's roster his first season coming into Michigan, as long as they have Vlad Golden, which everyone expects is going to happen. Um, so th- this is a key piece. Like This is a priority piece for me. I think the fact that he's visiting Georgia and Michigan bodes really, really well, because uh, with all due respect to Georgia – Michigan projects is a better team than Georgia next year. And we just stole Georgia's top assistant coach. So I, I, like, I, if those are his two visits, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he commits to Michigan relatively quickly here. I would assume he ends up visiting some other schools. Like I, I would assume he maybe works his way to some of these other bigger names on the list. And it'll be a hotly contested recruitment for Michigan to win. But uh, from what I have heard, Michigan's in a very good spot for Roddy Gale. So um if he does, I mean, it's hard to project the whole roster. Do you think he's a guaranteed starter for Michigan if they if they were to get Roddy Gale? I think so, yeah. Okay. Any Would any qualms say- about, like, an Ohio State player going to Michigan? Like, does that matter to you? No. Nobody cares? I'm bas- not in basketball. It'd be pretty fun to watch Ohio State-Michigan rivalry game, though, Bruce Thornton versus Roddy Gale. That would be fun. That'd be scenes. I would like that, it. That would be scenes. Um, uh, you you don't have a – could you say that list one more time? Was it Gonzaga, Clemson, Georgia, Michigan? What were those schools? These, these are the schools Rothstein has reported he is receiving interest from. Georgia, mm-hmm. Gonzaga, Michigan, Tennessee, Oregon, Creighton, Clemson, Duke, Alabama, Syracuse. Mm. A lot of good options on there. for. I, honestly, I like a lot of those spots for him. If uh, I were if I were picking for him and it wasn't Michigan, I would pick Alabama. That's what I think I would go to. Yeah, it's a fun system for a flying around guard athlete. Um, yeah. What do you think? You think Shaka would call him? That hasn't happened yet. I doubt it. I don't know why. For some reason, like I just picture him being a Marquette player. I don't love that fit with uh with uh Cam Jones. Cam Jones. Yeah, that feels a little clunky. I think um. Yeah, the, to me, the one th- if I'm Roddy Gale, I would want to play somewhere with a point guard. I would for sure want to play. Like, f- show me you have a facilitator point guard. And that might hurt Michigan, honestly. Unless That might hurt, that might hurt Bama. Uh, Trey Donaldson's a pass first point. It's a pass first point card. Maybe this works. I don't yeah, know. I mean- I yeah, I mean, whenever you have a chance to play with Trey Donaldson, you just can't say no to that. I will the the schools on his list, including Creighton and Alabama, seems like it bodes well for his shooting ability, right? Like if they if those schools were worried about if he could shoot, I don't think they're after him. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, where do you think he ends up? Uh, I'm gonna say. 
Butler. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm Michigan probably. Yeah, I feel like we're just doing all these videos and I'm saying Michigan for all these, but they have 10 spots to fill. And from what I'm hearing, they're in a great spot. Uh, I will predict he is a Michigan ad in the next couple of weeks. Their chances are highest if they wrap this up quickly. If it's if it's a visit to Georgia, a visit to Michigan, and a decision, Michigan should feel great. If he starts opening up other visits, then I, I'm concerned. Can I end this with a semi-wild take that I think I might believe? Yes. When you're grabbing a transfer and I make this statement, can you factor in money that you're paying for a player as well? Yeah. Any school that's in for AJ store and you don't want to pay a million dollars. Even if you do want to pay a million dollars. I'm just saying, like, I get it. I like AJ store a lot. Roddy Gale might be just as good as AJ Store. It's not as good as AJ Store. I think he could be. I would love that. I love your optimism about my future shooting guard. Um, he's not as good as AJ Store, though. I think he could be. Okay. I hope so. I hope I get to see it. I do. Two years of Roddy Gale is a great starting point for Dusty May. Make it happen, Dust Buster. Two, two years of Roddy Gale. You're only getting one year of AJ Store. True. You're also paying crazy for AJ Store. Dog, if I get two years of Roddy Gale, three years of Danny Wolf. Three years of Trey Donaldson. Three years of Aiden Holloway. Two years of Connor Asijan. This is one fun. year of John L. Davis. This is so fun. You're four talking... years of four years of Leah McNeely. Four You're years of Kahani Roos. Your coach has to try the portal sometime, and it's great. Also, we're only getting one year of McNeely, let's be real. If you've been watching our videos this season, you know that we are presented by MyBookie. Carter, tell the people about MyBookie. MyBookie is the official sportsbook of Sleepers Media. They have everything you need from expert predictions, write-ups. I mean, any 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 way you want to bet, MyBookie makes it easy for you to play your way and get paid. And right now, Gregory, we have an instant deposit bonus up to $1,000. All you have to do is use promo code sleepers. That's promo code sleepers. Take advantage of this great offer today and everything that my bookie has to offer. Yeah, the NCAA tournament may be over. The madness, maybe it's put to bed for a little bit. But college basketball is still rocking. It's transfer portal season. NBA playoffs are coming soon. There's still a ton to bet on, and you should bet with us at my bookie. The link is in the description of this video. Use promo code sleepers. 